Well, you know, there can really be a multitude of things to potentially worry about as your child uh, goes to school or goes back to school. And obviously, the, the less experience you have as a parent having a child attending school, the younger the child is, the, the more that tends to cycle up sometimes. With kindergarten, or children entering kindergarten particularly, the anxieties can often be higher for parents because you're dealing with parents probably first or most extended exposure to school. What you're also dealing with, depending on the prior arrangement for preschool or daycare, this is the longest block of time that children are going to be away from, away from their parents. And in another setting where we as parents don't have control, and especially if it's your first child or oldest child, that's unnerving. So you know, we need to kind of figure out a way as parents to help find the positive within that and frame that as a normal transition to our children's development instead of a potential catastrophe waiting to happen. And we get our children off successfully in kindergarten and they, they transition through elementary school and then all of a sudden we're faced with a middle school transition and then after that a high school transition and those can create new, uh, new hurdles. Our children are much developmentally much different than when they were six versus when they're going into sixth grade. So what worked when they're transitioning to kindergarten probably doesn't work so well. Uh, parents are hit on both ends. There's the anxiety of starting over at a new school. And then there's a natural push from children to separate from their parents, to differentiate from their parents, and to be similar to their peer group because the driving force once you get close to adolescence is to fit in with your peer group. I think we need to recognize as parents, one, that we're going to feel a bit anxious. That's normal, uh, especially if it's our first time sending a child off to school. Uh, but again, keep that in a frame of all the other people who have successfully transitioned. If you have other children who have done it, you know, reflect on how that went. Uh, and then do what you can to frame it positively for your child. The things that they're get, going to get to do that they've never gotten to do before. The stuff that the older kids or their older brothers and sisters can do, they're now going to get a chance to do. Remember that you as a parent really set the emotional tone. Uh, whether you have a six-year-old who will, you can freely see it, or whether you have a 16-year-old who will never let you see it, that they pay attention to how you feel.